HRV, based on the platform of the Honda Logo Super Mini, was launched in 1999, well before European manufacturers cottoned onto the idea, and was immediately marketed as a joy machine for a young, activity minded demographic, even if those people weren't, ultimately, its core buyers. All the makings of a hit, you might think, given the march it stole on the rest of the market. Instead, the HRV proved to be a side note, marginally ahead of its time, yes, but also cramped in the back, hindered by the absence of a diesel engine and ultimately canned without follow up. Engine choice could hardly be simpler. There's a 128bhp 1.5 liter IvTech petrol unit and the 118bhp 1.6 liter IvTech diesel driven here. Both are four cylinder units and form part of Honda's Earth Dreams series an umbrella term for the manufacturer's continuing efforts to wring more efficiency from its established VTEC technology. The petrol motor represents a power upgrade from the maximum output of smaller derivatives currently used in the Jazz, although its modest 114 pounds foot of torque, delivered at 4,600 revolutions per minute, remains behind the equivalent turbocharged engines found in many of its rivals. Nevertheless, only the petrol HRV can be had with a continuously variable transmission, and it's a measure of the CVT's popularity among Honda's European buyers that the firm has invested in a rewrite of the control software to replace the bandy, single ratio monotony with seven simulated gears. This is true partly by virtue of the fact that the HRV is a little bigger than many of the other Super Mini based cars, such as the CX3, Capture, and Peugeot 2008. In fact, it's only slightly smaller than the Nissan Qashqai and nearly as roomy inside. Rear leg and headroom are generous, and thanks to the aforementioned magic seat system, the car offers a variety of internal configurations. Having the option to fold away the front passenger seat back to accommodate items of almost 2.5 meters in length or lock the rear seat base vertically to stow anything up to 1.2 meters tall is just the kind of practicality that small crossovers usually intimate, and then fail to deliver. On its own, the boot is capacious, at 453 liters, although not exemplary in its dimensions and offers a pleasingly flat total load space of 1,026 liters. Elsewhere, it's sturdily Honda. Which is to say conservative, carefully assembled, legible and largely forgettable. Hard plastics aren't unusual in the class, but the HRV still has too many of them, and kooky details like embossing one join with fake stitching do it no favors. The needlessly big passenger-facing air vents appear to have time warped in from 20 years ago. The counter balance comes in the shape of a touch-sensitive climate control panel, which looks at odds with its surroundings and isn't particularly satisfying to use.